Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 530. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 524 to 530. In this trick here, we want to find either rework in a particular description or repair. So it's either or. Any transaction that has either one of these, we just want it to say true here, and then we could do whatever we want, whether we're doing calculations or filtering or extracting. I'm going to put a label up here, whatever it may be. I'm going to highlight this and go to the paintbrush. Click in there and go to, uh, I always like to put a color, especially in a data set where there's raw data and then this is going to contain a formula. Now, how do we find just if rework or repair is in here? Or there's a repair right there. We need to find a sub text string within a larger text string. And the way you can do that is with the search. Search, you say, hey, go find rework within this one right here. Now, I'm going to close parentheses on that. When I copy this down, I need this to be locked. So I'm going to hit the F4 key. That'll just uh, tell us if rework. And then I'm going to double click and send it down. So that one found a, a rework. Oh, what is a search? doing, it's telling us the uh, position within the text string. That's at the, it starts at the eighth character. Now we need either or, so I'm going to hit F2 in this active cell in the highlighted range and edit my formula. I'm going to copy this. Oh, I need one or the other, so I'm going to use the or function. Okay, logical test number one. Well, we don't want these value errors, so this is, uh, we want to say, is this a number? is number. Now the is functions, there's is number, is text, is na, is error, they just return a true or false, which is exactly what the or function needs for its logical test. So right now, it's as it copies down, it'll just deliver a true or false. Now I'm actually going to copy this. And since it's an or, one or the other is true, and or delivers a true to the cell, which is ultimately what we're after, we type a comment in our second logical test, control V, and I will uh, change this. So double click it. When you double click a cell reference in a formula, that highlights it. Click on that one and hit F4. Let's see, it looks like we need one more close parentheses right here on our OR. So that's the formula that will work all the way down. Remember, OR, either one of these, uh, either one of the two logical tests deliver a true, and the OR will deliver a true. When they're both false, then it delivers a false. Now, I've highlighted all the cells, so I hold Control and tap Enter to populate the whole column. There it is. That one contains one or the other. That one contains one or the other. Wherever it says true, one or the other is in that text string. All right, we'll see you next trick.